Hey guys, it's Troy here, and I kind of have a hodgepodge today to show you for pen mail. Um, I have had several different uh, uh, deliveries, and this is the first video I've been able to do in a couple of weeks. Work schedule has been nuts between vacation, um, health screenings, because now that I'm 50, my doctor wanted to do some uh, particular health screenings, uh, and working 60 hours a week. Life has been nuts. Now that the kids are home from school, uh, because today was the last day of school for the holidays. <sighs> anyway, been trying to live life and, and get by. So, wanted to share with you some of the things that I've gotten here recently. And uh, one of which uh, would be this one right here. Uh, this is a vintage fountain pen from, I believe, the 1930s or so. It's an Eclipse. This was sold as uh, for restoration. And, uh, you know, it's kind of an oversized pen for its day, uh, and, uh, it, you know, the clip is missing. I knew that going in, so I've got no problem with that. Uh, and, but it, it's an excellent physical condition otherwise. I really like uh, uh, all that, uh, I guess, chasing or whatever uh, pattern they've got on the outside. Kind of like that. Lever filler, obviously, and it's got a great big old... Uh, Eclipse. It's a Canadian uh, manufactured pen, so I'll tear this thing apart and uh, I'll put a new nib, uh, or, excuse me, a new sack in it, and I'll see how it writes. I haven't had a chance to really play with it or touch it. I had it shipped to me, I believe, from Germany, um, and it's a Canadian pen to me by way of Germany. Go figure. So I'll be working on that sometime soon and uh, see if I can get this thing all nice and operational so I can see how it performs because I've never owned an Eclipse. So I figured, why not? All right, well, the next one is, um, I'm going to save that one there. So why don't I show you this one today? Um, I got this one in the mail just today. Now, a Waterman 12. I like antique Waterman pens. This one was a user grade, and it it's, uh, was also sold for restoration. Now, the barrel itself, it's got some really good, strong imprints on it, and the barrel itself is in excellent condition. The original clip is missing, so this clip, uh, this slide-on clip actually came with it but otherwise the uh, the cap itself is in really good condition there's nothing really wrong with it other than the fact that it's missing um, its original clip so one of the reasons why it was sold in uh, user grade is this you can see that barrel is or the uh, not the barrel but the uh, you can see that the section here is really in bad shape and uh, the barrel itself, though, this being an eyedropper filler, you would dump ink into here. I've got an, another Waterman 12. Actually, I bought from the same vendor, by the way, uh, through uh, AntiqueDigger.com. And uh, I got this off from his eBay auction. And uh, I paid a little more than I kind of figured I would, but I bought it because... I wanted to be able to play with it. I wanted to see if I could get anywhere with it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get anywhere with that slit or that uh, that crack. There, there is actually a uh, a crack right in here along the neck here. So this section is actually in bad shape. The nib looks to be in decent shape, as does the the uh, the feed. So I may be able to take those out and salvage those. Um, and who knows, maybe I can go ahead and hodgepodge this thing together uh, with another uh, Waterman 12. And between the two, if let's say I find one in really crappy condition other than the section, I may be able to put the two together and come up with a really nice pen plus have a spare nib. Now one of the things that Greg does at Antique Digger is, um, you know, he did dip test it at least. So if nothing else, if I wanted to have just a dip pen, um, I could actually have a really nice dip pen and a decent writer. So you can see here the Waterman number 12 eyedropper. It's got a 0.58, so which is a fine line, up to a 2.37 millimeter, which is like a double broad stub uh, kind of thing. Um, so, you know, it's got some nice flex to it. So once I decide to play with it, I'll see uh, how it goes. One of the things that Greg does is he always uses these shipping tubes which I've been able to make use of quite a bit. Uh, so I've got uh, now another tube in my collection. But this particular Waterman, you know, I'll, what I will do it at a minimum is um, I'll get it all nicely ultrasonic cleaned, um, and uh, I'll play with it some. I don't know if I can fill that crack that's along that section, but um, 
like I said, maybe I can find some other parts and put together and uh, come up with something halfway decent. I still paid, like I said, a little more than I wanted to, but I bought it specifically to, to see if I could do something with it. It's just to see if I could play with it. So, All right, speaking of uh, Waterman's, um, if you saw my video earlier about the uh, Waterman safety pen that I had, uh, then this is it now. I sent it off to uh, Steph with Grand Mia Pens over in England. So um, I packed it up, I shipped it over to him, he and I had communicated, I've seen his work on one of these before, and I bought the parts that I needed for it, because back here, in the original pen, there was a, a piece of cork that acts as a seal back here. And it, this thing turned really well. Mechanically, there was nothing really wrong with it. Physically, there was some, nothing really wrong with it. And uh, what I'll try to do is I'll post the video or a link to the video in the description here of this pen previously. And I really probably need to do a whole video on it, but i give you a sneak preview. Steph was able to take off um, the personalization that was there on the end of the cap. And he really polished this thing up beautifully. Um, you know, you can still see the, uh, the Waterman uh, imprint there, Waterman imprint here on the barrel, and one of the things to look for is, because uh, I bought new seals, so I bought the rubber gaskets. I wasn't going to put in cork like the original had. Uh, might as well be modern, about, at least about the seal, hoping it'll last longer. This turns a lot harder than it did previously. Well, that, as well you should, because there's no ink in it right now. I have yet to ink this up. I got this pen... Uh, well over a week and a half ago, and it's been sitting here on my desk. I haven't been able to even ink it up and play with it yet uh, because I've been so busy. I just haven't had the time uh, between work and life. Uh, so what I will end up doing is uh, inking this sucker up eventually, but you can see it still works good. I mean, it, here you've got the the nib extending and retracting just fine, but it's a lot stiffer now that it's got some good seals in it, which is what you would expect. So um, I will try to do uh, a, a longer video, but if you want to see what this pen looked like before and now the after, then I'll try to put that link for you. So those are my three uh, pens that I had for vintage that have shown up, and I've got a box right here that just showed up today as well. So let me widen the shot just a little bit. And you can probably see, yeah, there's my tripod. All right, so um, I'm doing this for a reason out this wide because I got something uh, today from Birmingham Pens. Now, uh, one of the things I like about Birmingham Pens is number one, Nick is usually pretty good about uh, when uh, some of his pricing. I like his inks. If you order something $30 or more um, worth of an order, he'll give you free shipping. It showed up in one of these priority mail uh, packages today inside this flat rate envelope was this box right here so I have yet to open it up I mean I had to go and do some work today run some errands at work which normally I'm here at the desk uh, but so I am just now gonna open this up and I'll show you what I got now I'm not going to announce uh, some of what's in here because uh, there are ears in the house um, I've got one boy hopefully giving the dog a bath and one into the house. My mother-in-law is on the phone, or has been on the phone, squawking with her siblings. And uh, really arguing with siblings. And my wife is starting supper, I do believe, um, in the other room. And I got two boys watching Spongebob that have been a pain all afternoon long since I got out of school because they're excited about schools out for the holidays. So, in this box here, Nick loves to include uh, one of these fountain pen nib uh, paper clips, and I use those here on my desk. Usually there's a nice little invoice here, and sometimes a nice little note. So um, Nick always puts a personalized note. Packing slip, paper. Now, the main reason why I made this purchase is for these babies right here. Nick was having a sale on clearance on some pens. He was having a clearance on some ink. And I needed to stock up on some ink. So that's what I did. So let's go ahead and open all these. Or at least pull them out. Uh, yep, still one more pen. Empty box. All right, so I'm just going to talk while I'm uh, opening these things up. Uh, because, um, you know, 
one of the things that he had for sale is, and I realize for some of you are going to go like, really, you paid that much even though it's a Jin Hao? Well, American distributors for Jin Hao pens uh, are going to, you're going to end up paying a whole lot more than you would ordering it direct from China because, you know, obviously they have to make a profit out on it here in the United States. Well, Nick had some clearance on some Jin Hao models, and the only reason I ordered these, some 450s and 750s, twofold. Number one, I've been giving away a lot of Jin Hao 992s for just to give somebody and put into their hands so they can have something to break them into the fountain pen hobby, or at least an interest. But what I did was these were like 250 a piece. So rather than paying, you know, a couple of bucks and wait for the shipping from China, uh, he was trying to clear out some of his stock that he had on hand. And quite honestly, and this is kind of the game that I played, and I don't mind admitting to it, I got my order up over $30 just so I can get free shipping. Hey, if you're a customer and if you're a consumer, you might as well do it. You know. So actually there's somebody that I know that uh, has seen my videos on Facebook and my pen of the day posts that I've made on uh, Instagram and to Facebook and decided uh, hey that was pretty cool when I offered for her to get a pen I told her I'd be glad to, to send her one so if she uh, and she's a friend of mine I've known her a long time so maybe I can get a good shipping address for her and get those in the mail to her so the big thing for me though the main reason for this order was that I was running low and I've been meaning to order some inks because one of my favorite inks is carried at Birmingham and uh, I ordered two bottles of it and one of my favorite purples is right here in my hand I can tell the Andy Warhol pop art purple is actually a fantastic purple ink so for those of you who don't have that I highly recommend it so uh, there's one ink that I ordered and um, these smaller bottles and like I said they were on sale like three or four dollars at the time, and uh, you know, like just before, like pre-Christmas sale, Fred Rogers, Mr. Rogers, you remember him? Yeah. Well, Cardigan Red. I have not had a whole bottle of this. This is actually a really good red. Um, I've only had it in the sample, so I figured, all right, as long as I'm going to order them, I'm going to go ahead and order one of those. And uh, so. If you haven't tried his inks, I've been really thinking about doing, you know, he's got an ink flight service or a subscription. I've been thinking about doing it, but then I thought, you know, how much ink do I really need? And I decided to only order inks that I know that I'm going to be using and loving here and be selective about them. The Edgar T. Steele Works uh, Coking Coal Black. Been wanting to try another black. So um, I knew that these two bottles that I'm about to show you are the, should be the exact same ink because one of my all-time favorite blacks and really it's really a dark charcoal or as he calls it gunpowder um, and the reason I like it is because it behaves very very well it flows well it operates well in it but any pen that I've got it cleans up well and uh, it writes very smoothly and I can put it in my um, my old pens, for instance, you're going to find that I've got it in a pen just like this. One of my old Esther books, it sits on my desk. Uh, but Allegheny Arsenal Gunpowder Black. I wanted to get one of the bigger bottles, but on the website, they were sold out of the big bottles. So they had small bottles. So I went ahead and ordered two of them. So this one is also another one of those Allegheny Arsenals. So I'm not going to take the time to open that up. It just kind of worked out that way. And the last thing, I'm not going to say it out loud what these are but I can tell you that um, these are just going to be some simple stocking stuffers okay so but just you see what they are just by looking at it I've got uh, three sons in the house and uh, Christmas is coming and I stuck a few stockings with those so what you see everything that I just uh, showed you was just a little over 30 bucks um, as a matter of fact, let's look at my packing slip, and uh, I will confirm with you exactly what my total was, and to get it shipped El Fribo, now, 
it's not on the okay he's got the packing slip but he doesn't have the uh, the total on it so uh, but anyway so for 30 bucks shipped to my door I get four pens four nice looking pens for giveaway a little higher quality than the 992s I've been giving away uh, four bottles five bottles of ink and um, three of those you know things I just held up because I don't want other ears outside the room to hear it they generally they don't sit and watch these videos um, my kids don't so uh, a couple of them are too young to be able to do so. Uh, so there you go. Uh, three vintage pens and four new pens ex expressly for giveaway. That's the only reason I picked up these uh, these four pens here was just for giveaway. Uh, four bottles of ink, uh, five bottles. So um, and uh, so these vintage pens, I'm going to have to to work on them some and uh, see if I can get them up and operational. Uh, the ones that need work, they're going to go right into my um, little hospital drawer. And I got a bunch of ink sacks. That's another thing I didn't share a while back is I, I did get a whole bunch of uh, pen repair supplies like ink sacks and stuff. So I'll be working on that sometime when I get the opportunity uh, when work's not so busy and I can actually take a break and not have to work extra long hours and put in a lot of overtime. Uh, so um, other than that, we're still climbing a little bit, slowly but surely, in our subscriber. Get me over the thousand uh, mark and I've got another giveaway. So I've got some pens, I've got some notebooks, I've got some ink ink um, and uh, I've got several things planned uh, for a giveaway so other than that that's about it thank you for watching and hopefully you got some ideas as to where to shop to look for good bargains kinds of inks that you might enjoy um, and uh, maybe even some uh, fantastic pens as to how about where to get them uh, restored uh, you know, Antique Digger, I showed you uh, the pen I bought from him this one was for restoration he was not going to restore it I bought it so I could tinker with it and play with it. But he does uh, pen restoration as well. And Steph, uh, if you don't uh, subscribe to Grand Mia Pens, I strongly recommend you go over to his site and subscribe there. Steph's a good guy. Uh, he did excellent work. Uh, he did uh, at a very reasonable rate. Uh, he actually was, uh, it was less expensive for me to ship stuff to England, have him work on it, and ship it back. Uh, then what it costs for me for some restorers here in the United States and you did a fantastic job so Steph thank you buddy um, and I'm sure that after Christmas Matthew will be with me and will be sharing some of his uh, some of his booty that he got including um, we'll probably you'll probably hear Steph's name again so guys thanks for watching uh, that's it for pen mail for today I know it's been a couple of weeks been very hectic so this is what I got